Hello everyone and welcome to this week's What's Happening at Trinity and Taking Our Faith Home. I'm Pastor Scott, one of the pastors here at Trinity Lutheran Church and as always it's a joy to spend this time with you. Well folks, it's Oktoberfest week. Oktoberfest is this coming Saturday, September 30th here at Trinity. Please invite your friends, family, neighbors. Um, it's a great way for us to connect with the community. And if you're from the community watching this, we would welcome you and invite you to come and be a part of the festivities on Saturday. Just in light of that then, and in preparation for that this week, other things to consider. On Wednesday night, we continue with our Wednesday evening programming. We're gonna do it a little differently this week because part of our Wednesday evening will be going out to help set up tables and chairs in the tents for Oktoberfest. So we'll have our meal from 5.30 to about six o'clock. Then after that, we're gonna go out um, and set up tables and chairs in the tents. And then when that's done, we will come back in and have our classes. So if you would like to come and have dinner or just come and help with tables and chairs um, and then join us afterwards if you would like, that'll be Wednesday evening. The outdoor stuff will take place around 6 o'clock, probably to about 6.30ish. So um, keep that in mind. Then, of course, Saturday's Oktoberfest. And Sunday, we have one service at 10 a.m., which will be our tent worship out in the backfield. So Sunday, one service, 10 a.m., tent worship in the backfield. Our focus for this week is being a light in the world. I'm standing here in the sanctuary. Right, in front, right behind the baptismal font with the Paschal candle next to me, um, shining forth um, as representation of the light of Christ, that Christ is the light of the world. And since Christ is the light of the world, that then makes us, in our baptism, the light of the world. I'd like to read to you from Matthew 5, 14 to 16, where it says, You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under a bushel basket, but rather on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. When we're baptized in these waters, in the waters of baptism, when we are baptized in these waters, we become God's children, which then makes us the light of the world. You know, for many years, I misunderstood this text. I thought there was a way I could turn on or turn off my light. It doesn't work that way. The Greek does not say that. What the Greek says is that by nature of your baptism, by nature of being cleaned by God in the waters of baptism, you automatically become the light of the world. Now, we can let that light shine, or we can hide the light. But it isn't up to us to turn it on or off. It's already been turned on. You are the light of the world. Oktoberfest to me is a great way for us to be a light to the world, a light to our communities. Yes, it's a fun activity. Yes, there's, there's games and bouncy houses, great food, all kinds of fun. But really what it is at its core is an opportunity for us to serve and care for the community. In other words, to be a light to the world. When you were baptized, many of you had a candle that was lit and you heard the words of scripture that I just said. Let your light so shine before others that they see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Wherever we let our light shine, whether it's at Oktoberfest or at the grocery store or while we're driving, at work with our family, we are the light of the world. By nature of being God's children claimed to baptism, we are God's light. And we are called not to hide that light, we're called to let that light shine. So as you go about your, your life this week, as you go about um, you know, your, your normal daily activities, uh, watch for ways to let that light shine. Look for the opportunities to let that light shine. We live in a world today that has a lot of problems, which is no different than any other time in history, by the way. It was no different than the biblical times. And God called and gave the wonderful opportunity for God's people to be light in the midst of darkness, to be hope in the midst of, of difficulties, to be a source of inspiration in the midst of sometimes very, you know, uneventful living. We have an opportunity. 
we have a great calling to be a light to the world. And especially this weekend, as we gather around this building and outside to celebrate Oktoberfest, we do so being a light to the community, to bring hope, to bring joy, to bring laughter, to bring God's love and grace to people so that they can see the light of Christ and let their light shine as well. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, you are the light of the world and you send light into our lives each and every day. As you bring light to us, so help us to bring light to others. Help us not to hide our light or run away from our calling, but to shine forth your love and grace in all aspects of our lives. We ask for your blessing upon this weekend, that it not only be a fun time, but also be a safe time, and that others may come to know your love in some special way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So folks, let your light so shine before others, that they see good work, your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Let your light shine so that others may give glory to God in heaven. Have a great week, folks.